Welcome back from that massive win from uh, the club Arsenal. Uh, Arsenal has definitely beaten the football club Nottingham Forest 2-1 uh, with goals from Bukayo Saka and Edin Ketia and uh, also uh, Awini from uh, Nottingham Forest uh, managing to score one goal. Uh, it's definitely been quite, quite uh, a big thing. It's definitely been a big game for the club uh, Arsenal as it's, it has definitely been a Premier League opener, a big and massive Premier League opener opener for both clubs with uh, the club Nottingham Forest failing to get a point in the football club uh, the football club Arsenal really getting three uh, wonderful points it's definitely been so brilliant a bit challenging in the second half hasn't it uh, but the first half was definitely very smooth uh, the, the first half was uh, very very smooth and uh, I possibly thought uh, Arsenal would score more goals in the second half but uh, you know the thing is Arsenal has uh, these football players that have definitely coming uh, come in uh the uh, most recently signed football players we're talking about Kai Harvest we're talking about uh, Declan Rice and uh Urine team so they've got to take a bit of time to uh, really get properly into uh, the system that Mikel Arteta plays but uh, I must say uh, so far so good so far so good uh, we uh, there is nobody who should complain about this performance it's been a wonderful three points in the title race is definitely now on with manchester city also having three points the title race is definitely back it's been quite brilliant uh opening uh the, tr the uh, opening the premier league uh, for the club arsenal with uh, a massive uh with a massive a massive three uh good points three points and definitely you can take that for granted uh though the football club uh, manchester city uh is ahead uh by goal difference because manchester city scored three goals and uh, arsenal has scored two goals and one so uh let's hope really that arsenal is going to compete again and i can definitely see the football club arsenal competing one more time and uh, a little bit about transfers again about transfers Arsenal uh, is uh, still um, very much into this transfer business as Mikel Ateta really uh, is interested still in signing the football player Mohamed Kudus there is still a bit of chance that he could definitely sign Mohamed Kudus who is a, a very good attacking midfielder and could uh, reduce a bit uh, the pressure of the football player uh, Bukayo Saka Bukayo Saka has played quite almost every game last season so uh, they want to uh, create a bit of competition for him but also uh, reduce the workload that the football player Bukayo Saka has anyway uh, it's been quite great it's definitely very wonderful it's definitely been quite great for the football club Arsenal uh, getting those uh, three points I mean uh, in the first half it was fully attacking Arsenal really attacked uh, uh, Nottingham Forest very very badly uh, Arsenal was uh, attacking badly and uh, at some point in time I thought uh, Arsenal really uh, comfortably win this game with uh, possibly four to five goals, but I think it's changed a little bit in the second half. You know, in the second half, it was not attacking so much. Uh, the attacking uh, force reduced a little bit in the second half for some reason. Um, uh, Nottingham Forest really uh, tried to come back in the game, and uh, they had, uh, you know, uh, they had uh, Arsenal's goalkeeper, former goalkeeper Matt Tanner, was in the goals for Nottingham Forest, and he's done quite a great job. He's done quite a good job, and the fact that Matt Tanner knows uh, all the football players that are at Arsenal of way too much, and uh, he really has trained with them, and it's not long uh, since he left the club Arsenal. So he's done quite a good job for the football club Nottingham Forest, despite the fact that they have lost, they've not gained the points. But uh, for Nottingham Forest, really, uh, to uh, have a score of uh, uh, being beaten 2 1 by Arsenal, uh, definitely, I think Nottingham Forest can take that and they are very okay with that. And um, uh, they are looking at improving themselves as a club. But they, I don't think they even uh, knew that they would make it 2 1 because. They thought possibly would end 4 nil because Arsenal, looking at how Arsenal's form has been of recent, Arsenal has played quite well and absolutely well uh, recently. So I think definitely uh, they were scared a little bit in the first half and in the second half. Uh, that young man, Awini, a very dangerous striker, you know, uh, definitely uh, came up and scored uh, in the last minutes of the game, towards the last minutes of the game was in the... Uh, 80 something minutes and uh, uh it wasn't the best for the club arsenal but uh definitely 
I can confirm to you that uh, the, uh, the boys, Edin Ketia and uh, Bukayo Saka, have improved ever since they joined the club. As no, actually, uh, they are both of them definitely are, are graduates uh, from the Arsenal Academy and they've improved their game. Definitely, you can see that uh, they are playing quite well. And uh, Edin Ketia has impressed every single time he's been given an opportunity by the current manager, Mikel Ateta, to play. He's always impressed, and that's why Edin Ketia uh, is not for sale, uh, despite the fact that quite a big number of clubs were interested in the star. Edin Ketia, uh, he was branded not for sale by Mikel Ateta because uh, he, Mikel Ateta knew that in occasions like this, the football player Edin Ketia is definitely needed, and he opened uh, uh, he opened the scoring, and uh, then. Uh, Bukayo Saka was not very happy about uh, him not scoring. Uh, then he also scored, uh, making it two goals. And uh, 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 that was uh, the first half done 2-0. And I thought possibly second half would uh, Arsenal would definitely have two more goals. But it did not go that way. Uh, Arsenal, uh, there was something lacking in the second half. Arsenal was attacked way too much in the second half. I was not very comfortable with that that mode of attack because uh, the Arsenal played a sort of defensive uh, game uh, towards the end, which is not the Arsenal I, I know really. Maybe should we say Nottingham Forest has improved as a football club? Uh, they've bought a few football players. They've got a good goalkeeper. They've got Matt Turner. Uh, they've got uh, former Manchester United uh, uh, football player Anthony Elanga. They've got Awini in that squad. Definitely, you can tell they've got good football players, but. And not to comparison, uh, you can't put them to comparison with what the club Arsenal has. Uh, so uh, there's been a bit of uh, uh, something that Arsenal, Arsenal would have played much better. Uh, but uh, nevertheless, three points is three points, whether it's a difference of one goal or what, three points still uh, remain three points. And uh, it's, uh, could we be seeing still again a battle between Arsenal and Manchester City? Straight away, the battle has begun, but uh, Manchester City having uh, quite a big number of goals, uh, three goals really, uh, Arsenal really also uh, has now one goal, we should say, because uh, Manchester City won 3 0 and Arsenal won 2 1. Uh, so that. Uh, you can see the difference that is in there but it is uh just the beginning the title race is now on and uh, let us know whom you definitely think is going to win the premier league title at uh, this time round whom do you think whom do you put your money on that is going to win the premier league title do you think Arsenal is going to do so or you think it could be manchester city manchester united uh, or chelsea whom do you definitely think is it going to be liverpool anyway uh, get into the comment section and let us know. Uh, give us your opinion about uh, whom you think is going to win the Premier League title as it's definitely now known that the club Arsenal is having a good run, is going to have a good run. First of all, uh, Manchester City was beaten last time by the club Arsenal and uh, that was uh, uh, a, go a game that ended uh, a, a, in a draw 1-1. One, one. Uh, Leandro, thanks to Leandro Trossard who came on and uh, really equalized. Uh, the game was 1-0 and Leandro Trossard coming in and that game and equalizing then uh, that definitely pushed uh, 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 pushed the game to uh, the penalties and every single Arsenal penalty taker put it in the right direction whereas uh, the club Manchester City failed on that so uh, definitely uh, let's hope that uh, this time round uh, uh, Arsenal can have a good run uh, in the, the fact that there are quite big number of alternatives uh, Arsenal can have a good run from the beginning to the end. Last time it was from the beginning and towards the end, uh, the, uh, Arsenal started playing not as good as how they were playing uh, when the season had begun. So, But this can definitely be avoided any minute, any second from now. Definitely that can be avoided. Uh, anyway, uh, let us know what you definitely think in the comment section and do not forget to subscribe and ring that notification bell so that you do not miss out on what Ava have got to bring to as long as this post as long as this Arsenal related right about him. At uh, the Arsenal chapter with me, your very host, Abu Kaos, as I'm right about here. 
uh, to bring to uh, the latest trade as it comes in as we definitely have been talking sporting talking about Arsenal in that to be particular talking about a bit of the game and also uh, talking about Edin Ketty and Bukayo Saka who are very good uh, football players wonderful talents uh, uh, the future of the club Arsenal lies uh, uh, with uh, the football the two football players they've definitely always impressed when they have been on uh, the games otherwise please uh, thank you for being part of this podcast and make up and subscribe and ring that notification bell thank you and goodbye for now